Welcome to Bernina and Burnett. Today we're going to look at not only the similarities, but some of the difference between our great overlockers. We're going to be talking about the L460, the Burnett B64 airlock, and also the L850 machines. My name's Sarah Cordwell, and I lead the education team at Benina International. And today I'm here with... Hello, I'm Doris Breckfield, Educator and Overlock Specialist at Bernina International. So Doris, what a lineup we have here today. Great machines all together. They are, they are, and there's something for everybody. Well, I think I'd like to kick off with the L850, and my, the highlight just has to be the air threader on this machine. It's so easy. We just open the front cover. We close the looper pipes and I've got my foot on the foot control. I take the thread and I simply thread and shoop de whoop it's done. How simple is that? Fantastic. One step Bernina air threader like no other kind actually because it takes that thread in initially just super. Absolutely. And you find yourself changing the threads more often using the system, which is great. So how does it work on the other machines, Doris? Maybe you can tell us. Yes, also the B64 airlock has, as the name says, air threading. I open the looper cover and to close the pipes, I push the lever. To close the pipes, because this machine doesn't have a needle stop up, I have to turn the hand wheel until the looper pipes close. The air threader itself is driven by a separate compressor motor at the push of a knob. So also here, I pull approximately half a meter of thread and then I have to thread that about a centimeter or two into the air threader nozzle. And then I press the knob and the machine is threaded. It's also very fast, it's easy to go, but it's not that the machine takes the thread in, I thread one or two centimeters. But then it's done, I can deactivate the air threader to open the pipes again for sewing. That's how it works. And then the third machine, the L460, that's conventional threading. It has all open thread guides throughout the loopers, but also the needles and I just thread it manually. And then you will see on the threading diagram which eases threading. Here we still have a threading sequence, upper looper, lower looper, right needle, left needle, whereas the B64 has no threading sequence for the loopers but for the needles, right needle, left needle if both needles are in use and the L850 has no threading sequence at all. That's why there's no numbering on the threading diagram. Yeah, it makes it very easy here when you look at the threading sequencing. Now while we're in this area of the machine, if we come move down you see also all the accessories are very nicely ordered here in front of the machine. Let's start with the needles can be stored, the used needles here in the front. There's also needle storage on the other machines too, is that correct? Yes, the L460 also has a needle pad inside the looper cover for used needles to separate them from the new ones and the B64 airlock actually has a needle pad on the spool holder on the thread stand. So this machine actually has a needle threader which I think is really time saving especially when the eyes uh, don't see so well and it's very easy to use. So you simply coming over here you bring down the threader and you can actually select which needle you want to thread. How is the needle threading with the other models, Doris? There is no built-in needle threader like the L850 has. Both models have a manual needle threader inside the machine, under the looper cover for the B64, and inside the looper cover for the L460. Both work the same, so you just go and 
thread your needle with these needle threaders, needle holders. And actually there's also a needle threader, needle holder with the L850. But the built-in one, of course, eases the threading process. So that's threading out of the way, and now you can choose your stitch. And by the L850, you have 18 different stitches to choose from, which is really great. And then to help you with your stitch settings, you have this very handy guide, which comes with the machine, plus, of course, the manual. And this is, is that also the same with the other models, Doris? It's similar, actually. The L460 also comes with the quick reference with the stitches on it and how to set them or which threads are in use. The quick reference, like on the L850, also contains a couple of tips for frequent sewing. Also, the L460 comes with a manual and the L460 and the B64 airlock each have 16 different stitches that are sewn with four, three or two threads. The B64 airlock comes with a stitch overview chart, a separate chart, and its quick reference contains 16 pages with some threading information, but also fine tuning and maintenance, such as cleaning and oiling. This machine comes with these two paper documents. Its detailed manual is available for download from the Burnett website. So it's slightly different. This machine has 18 stitches. That means on the stitch overview chart we also have the blanket stitch mm -hmm. that can be used for blankets or reversible fabrics easily. Oh, that's great. So now I'm going to shut the front cover here which is very easy. And what is also good is that the top cover won't shut until you actually open those pipes up for sewing, which I think is a really good thing. So I'm then going to shut that front cover. And then you see here too that we have um, all the knobs are on the outside of the machine, which makes it very user friendly. So we have the stitch length, we have the differential feed, and then if we move here, oh, we have the MTC. Now, Doris, MTC, tell us a bit more about MTC for those who are not aware of what that is. MTC means micro-thread control. That means I can fine-tune the loop of thread amount over the edge at the turn of a knob or with a lever. Sometimes when we cut thicker or thinner fabrics, we have loose loops over the cutting edge. So we can fine tune these loops and have the perfect stitch in due course. And also sometimes fabric may be tunneling a little bit. So then we can also add MTC for a little bit more loop of thread and come to a good sewing result or a nice stitch. And as you talk about MTC, also the L460 has MTC with a lever near the stitch plate and also the B64 airlock is the first burnet coming with MTC, fine tuning of loop or thread amount. Another knob we haven't talked about is the cutting width, and it's here, it features underneath the machine here, and Doris, I'm sure it's on the other two models as well, right? Yes. You have been talking about individual thread tensions, stitch length, differential feed, that's the same on the L460, and also the cutting width can be adjusted from the front, and then we have the roll hem lever here. We have presser foot pressure. All attributes to a stitch can be adjusted individually, even while sewing. Same is on the B64 airlock. We have individual thread tensions, stitch length differential feed, cutting width at the front, presser foot pressure. We call it total stitch control. We can control the stitch anytime or change it or fine tune it anytime we want or need. Another thing I really love about this machine is the fact that I can swing the foot out. And I'm going to show you how easy that is. So I just simply use my finger and I can push the foot out. Now to bring it back down again, I actually go in and I can use the presser foot lifter. Swing out foot is not unique. Some of our customers know it from earlier Berninas, mm -hmm. but it's back again on the L8.
series. That's really convenient, especially when you want to thread a tape into the tape guide of the standard foot or change needles or want a little bit more space uh, around the needle area. And not only this, I mean, you've just been showing it very nicely by lowering and raising the foot with your right hand. You have a grand sewing space, a well-lit grand sewing space. You can sew on your L850 like on a sewing machine. That's right. Also on the B64 airlock actually, we have the lever to lower the foot on the right side of the machine. So I can conveniently raise or lower the foot with the hand lever. Also the sewing space is very generous on the right side and on the left side, well lit. The L460 has the lifter, the manual lifter for the presser foot behind the head. All three machines, or I must say the L850 has a tape guide, an open adjustable tape guide in the standard foot. The L460 has a tape guide and a cording guide in the standard foot. And the B64 airlock has just a small cording guide in the standard foot. So I noticed you were lifting the foot up and down with the, the presser foot lifter, but we also have the wonderful knee lift. and. Of course, many of us know this from the sewing machine and it's wonderful to have it on the overlockers as well. So it's very simple. Of course, we use normally our knee, but I'm um, just showing this here. And of course, it also works when the foot is up. You can lower using the knee lift. And as we can easily see, all three models are equipped with a knee lifter to lower the presser foot or to raise it temporarily. I find it very convenient, as you said, on the sewing machine. We use it when we have notions or when we need to place the fabric or reposition the fabric. It's a really handy feature. But there's not only the knee lifter coming with all machines. There's also a cutoff bin coming with all three models, standard, on the L460, on the B64 airlock, And then, of course, with the L850 as well. So now we've attached something, the cutter spin. We can actually also remove something. All three machines come with a slide-on table. The L460 detaches easily with a knob. The B64 airlock also detaches with a knob. And not only does this machine have a slide-on table, it also comes with a free arm cover. That means underneath I reveal the free arm for conveniently sewing tubular or round items around the free arm. On the L850, I like to show you also, this slide-on table detaches with a latch underneath. and shows the free arm for tubular sewing. And here we have the attachment that will then close that area in for other projects. Yeah, this attachment, the free arm cover, is not a standard for the L850. That's an optional. That is the difference to the B64 airlock, where it is in the design coming standard with the machine. And of course, another very handy accessory is the seam guide. And by the L850, it's very simple to attach on. You just clip it so, and then you can just easily move it back and forward to the right seam allowance, which I think is just great. Yeah. If you are a garment sewer, the seam guide comes in handy because many patterns have a seam allowance included, so you can control your cutoff evenly. Not only the L850 has a seam guide, also the L460 comes with a seam guide in the standard accessories. That attaches onto the stitch plate by opening the cloth plate. So you see this machine does not have a free arm. It opens the cloth plate from where underneath you can actually deactivate the knife or activate it again. And also attach the seam guide over the stitch plate. And then you can also adjust to your even cutoff of 
excess seam allowance. DB64 Airlock does not have a seam guide included, but it has another accessory, and this is a decorative thread guide. That means when we sew with heavy decorative threads, we can attach the decorative thread guide to bypass the pretension so that we can sew a wider and longer stitch. Talking about stitches, the 18 and 16 different stitches actually on the two Bernina models, L850 and L460, you can sew the stitches up to 9 mm width, up to 4 mm length, up to 4.5 mm length, and the B64 airlock sews its stitches up to 7 mm wide. So there's a slight difference. Now what I really love about the L850 is the DC motor and I really noticed that in combination with the foot control I'm able to get a very um, controlled stitch. I'm just going to pick up the foot control. I can just very simply do a stitch at a time with the half a stitch up or down and it just gives me that total stitch control. It's another factor in this. How is that with the other machines, Doris? That sewing comfort the L850 offers also comes with the L460. Also, this machine has a DC motor for fine speed control, and together with the Bernina foot control, I can sew slow or fast. And notice also the machine has needle stop up. The needle stops always up, like the L850. And also with the back kick, I can sew half a stitch. So that's really sewing comfort. And you've also heard the sewing sound is very nice and quiet. We can even talk while we sew, mm -hmm. social sewing. That's right. What's the speed of the different machines? The L460 sews between 400 and 1500. So does the L850, so between 400 and 1500 stitches a minute. Those two models come with the DC motor. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the major differences to the B64 airlock. This machine comes with an AC motor and with a conventional foot control. Also, this machine sews slow, a minimum of 350 stitches and up to 1350 max. And I can also control it very fine with the foot control. But as you can see, this machine has no needle stop up, it does not have a back kick, and it has a slightly different sound. It is more a humming sound compared to the L850 and L460. But it also so slow and it can be fine-tuned or it, the, the speed can be adjusted very good. Which brings me... Yeah, the last thing I think we need to talk about with the speed is the half speed control button. And we have that here. You are able to switch to half speed, which is excellent for beginner sewers and it means that they have much more control and feel more comfortable. Yes, and stitching and control with the foot control is the same whether you're on reduced speed or on maximum speed. And also, very often we recommend to reduce the sewing speed when you sew with decorative threads. Decorative long wide stitches with a heavy thread we recommend reduce your sewing speed and then with that speed control switch it makes it easy not to go too fast for perfect stitches like every time. I think we covered the major things, but there's a slight difference with the L850 and that's about the knife. Ah, oh, that's right. Um, how could I forget that? Because it's a wonderful um, way of dropping the knife. You simply um, can adjust the knife below by this dial at the side. You can just simply move in and you can bring the knife down or bring it back up again. It's wonderful. Yes, I find it very convenient when sewing tubular or circular around the free arm mm. because I want, have, I want to have my first stitches not cut by my last stitches. So I can simply, being in the sewing process, disengage the knife, sew my last stitches, remove my project and engage the knife again. 
that's very easy. And by the way, all these tips and tricks we also show in various video tutorials, how to thread the machine, how to select a stitch, how to fine-tune a stitch, how to test sew, the user comforts, all in short tutorial videos, mm -hmm. in addition to our short presentation. Sure. And I think another thing I would like to show briefly, we've been talking about the accessories included in the machine or under the cover. Each machine also comes with a small accessory box for standard accessories, the L460, the B64 airlock, and we have this beautiful box by the L850. And talking about accessories that are in the box or included, comes another thing to my mind. We forgot to mention the upper looper converter. Of That's course. also a difference. Yeah, and I think the great advantage by the L850 is it's now actually incorporated and it's very, very easy to use. So to close the session, you open the covers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I'm going to just remove the bin and I'm going to open the covers just to show you just how easy this two thread converter is. So you can see it just clips on or to remove you just take it away, just like that. Yeah. And by the other machine storage? With the other two machines, the upper looper converter is stored inside the looper cover. Also easy to attach on the upper looper arm for all those two thread stitches, such as two thread rolled hem or two thread flat lock or two thread overlock. And on the B64 airlock, it also has its nice storage under the looper cover, so you know where to find it. But of course, the L850 has an advantage here. It's such a tiny thing, but it makes such a difference to uh, a seam using the correct um, yes. threads. So, Doris? If you look for a new machine or for something that your machine doesn't offer, gather your needs. Bring your requirements to your dealer, make an appointment and see if there's a model that suits your needs. It's really important also to test drive a machine. Then you can really feel the differences and see if it's a machine for you. So then with this, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, Doris. And we wish you all the best with your next sewing project. say? We are Bernina and Burnett. Well, we are, aren't we? Kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but really, how did you think it went? Yeah, I think it was good. I was very happy to have your little help uh, lists here yeah. to work with. So, but really, tell me the truth. Which would be your favourite model of the three? Well, actually for me, it's a no-brainer. Looks like our director wants one too. Bernina, made to create.